Hello, I'm Mark. I'm here to talk about uh, Leslie Motors. Uh, so this is kind of a Leslie Motor 101. Uh, here we have the basic one-speed Leslie Motor. It only spins what we today would call fast. This was the original motor in the Leslie speakers. Um, it gave them, gave you as a player fast and off. Uh, people later, or someone at Leslie, thought it would be a good idea to have um, a slow speed instead of the off. So what they did was they invented this. This is the Leslie dual motor. As you'll see, it looks like the single motor, except it has this other motor bolted to the bottom. And that's what they did. Uh, they took the fast motor and the slow motor, bolted them together. There's a solenoid that travels between them, which is this right here, I'm moving it in and out of place. So what happens is the fast motor operates just like the old fast motor used to. When you threw a switch, the fast motor turns off, the slow motor turns on. As the slow motor turns on, it pushes its solenoid into place, and the slow motor would spin this rubber coated disc, which would actually drive the entire, I'll simulate this here, would drive the fast motor to spin, because the fast is spinning freely because it's off, and make the entire Leslie apparatus spin at uh, a slower speed, about half as fast. Uh, this gave players, these. this is uh, the style that was introduced in the 122 and 147 Leslies, and this gave players two speeds of play, and uh, with some modification and off position as well. We'll talk more about that later. So let's go get into um, this strange little contraption, and uh, I get some comments from people asking me uh, why, uh, hey, my slow motors aren't working right, the fast motors work, the slow works on the bottom, but the, the slow doesn't work on the top. There's an adjustment here. Um, this solenoid that touches the disc has to touch it just right. Uh, too loose and it doesn't push the disc, which pushes the pulley. Too tight and it will bind up and it won't retract and it will uh, add extra pressure and, and uh, uh, load on the slow motor and that's not good either. The adjustment is right here. You see these uh, these bolts? You see there's kind of a slight angle to that. And by cocking the angle of the motor and how it sits on these rubber grommets, we can make a slight change in how it makes contact with that disc. So how to do that is slightly loosen the top one, slightly tighten the bottom one. I would do half turns at a time. Have the motor out of the Leslie when you do it. You can do it in the Leslie, but it's a lot easier to do outside. Have the motor outside and test it as you go. Make sure not too fast, I mean, not, not too tight, not too loose. And that will uh, help your, your switching speeds be nice and round and help the motor um, help keep it quiet as well. Speaking of keeping it quiet, there's one other thing I'd like to mention in our 101, which is something that often goes wrong. Is there's a little spring at the very bottom of the slow motor so that when the slow motor retracts, it doesn't sit on these bearings here. It, uh, it sits just above them. Uh, some people complain about a n noisy slowdowns. Oftentimes, when that spring gets a little too squished, um, the motor will sit or rest against this metal here and make a terrible sound. So you want to make sure you can take off this, you can disassemble this, take off the spring, retention it by stretching it out a little. It can be replaced. Um, which is also possible. Some, uh, actually some don't have a spring, some sit on a little uh, rubber grommet as well, which may be the case with this one. But anyways, there's another source of Leslie Motor, uh, what's the word? Noisiness. It's not a good word, but it's a word. So, another great fact about these motors is from the advent of the 122 and the 145 all the way through the end of the Leslie era, and even in the 70s Leslie's, these, this motor st double stack here is essentially the same, which is good for the vintage Leslie fans because later Leslie's can be used as donors to uh, repair or modify early Leslie's. So um, you can get uh, these, these motor stacks out of some 
uh, lorry organs or wireless organs that no one's using anymore, you can put them into a pre dual motor Leslie. Uh, and uh, by using a Leslie motor controller, you can get those that two speed action. Oh, one other, I already said one other, but here's the other one other fact, which is the, the mounting hardware and the pulleys are interchangeable on all of them. So even if you get a motor that hangs but has the lower pulley, that's okay. You can swap them off. You're, you're hanging gear if you can find a set of these, but it doesn't have the hanging gear or it doesn't have the upside down mounting gear. You can swap mounting gear off of uh, other Leslie's. So that's a basic primer into the world of the dual motor in the Leslie speaker. Thanks a lot.